Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Muted Vocal. Today I'm going to be doing some beard stuff and moustache stuff. Uh, recently on my trip to Canada I purchased a few items. Um, Urban Beard, which I purchased in Edmonton in Alberta. Um, beard oil. Um, organic and vegan friendly. Um, it's scent. Hmm. I've not a clue. Uh, what is it? What is it? Couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you. Um, I also purchased some um, mustache wax. Captain Fawcett's mustache wax, to be precise. Twenty bucks. Also purchased in Edmonton. You see that? Good stuff. Um, this is um, the Gentleman's Stiffener. Um, keeping a stiff upper lip regardless. Um, sandalwood moustache wax. Um, should be quite nice. going to try it out anyway. Um, it's early in the morning here in Manchester. And um, I've just been for a run and I'm knackered. But um, I thought now would be a, an appropriate time to try out some of this stuff. So um, let's uh, sort this beard out, shall we? I do apologize for the sound of a truck outside. I've tried to wait it out, but it just doesn't seem to want to go away. So I hope it isn't too noisy, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Defluff this mess. Starting to get a little bit um, voluminous once again. And all this hair isn't helping either. I don't know what to do with it, to be honest, but what can you do? Um, so, we shall start by applying beard oil. Now, men out there, if you have a beard and you haven't tried this stuff, I highly recommend it. It just changes the playing field. So, we get this guy here, and we, um, get about three... Possibly four drops of the stuff, it goes a long way, it's incredibly pungent. Um, rub it into the palms of your hands, so it covers all your fingers and your palms like so. And you just start to work it in from the bottom up, like so. Um, plus it's just an opportunity to mess about with your beard, you know, we know what men are like. We like to, uh, like to mess with our beards. It's quite a strong smell, actually. It's, it's like hints of lavender in there. Um, I'm not sure what else. It's very um, woody. Very strong, but um, it's a wonderful smell, actually. And this is the benefit of using beard oil. Not only does it make the, the hair softer, but it actually uh, makes your face smell wonderful. And it's a great way to start the day. So again, I'm just going to continue to uh, work that in as best I can. Try and give a little bit of attention to the the top lip area. Make it all bushy. Again, a really small amount of this stuff goes an incredibly long way. And don't want to miss any skin. And it prevents dry skin, actually. Which is great. No more flaky skin and nasty little bits, all just perfect skin underneath, in theory. So you wait till most of that is in. Wah, wah, la, la, you have a big bushy beard. And um, I have a little wet wipe thingy here to uh, wipe my hands with, to take off the excess beard oil from my hands. Um, and then what I would do at this stage is I'd probably just use a typical comb like this and just kind of comb it down and uh, make sure it's all evenly distributed. I'll sort my hair out later. Probably not on film. And um, it kind of gives it like a, a glossy, well-maintained appearance as well, which is great. It all bushy like that. Um, 
this is um, a work in progress beard, I have to say. Um, I'm working on it for a few months now, and um, I've trimmed at it a couple of times, and I've been tempted to cut it off a couple of times, actually. Especially the heat we experienced in Canada recently. It was, uh, it was 40 degrees Celsius at one point, which was absolutely ridiculous. So, a few few rogue hairs there that might need some some attention with the fine mustache comb. Those as make them as uh, fine as possible for the next step, and we're going to be applying the mustache wax, which um, I have to say I haven't used a great deal of in my time. But here we go. The best thing to do is to try and warm up the tips of your fingers before you touch this stuff. It's quite um, quite difficult to get into one's hands. Just going to cut this until that truck has buggered off. Sorry about that. Just waiting for that uh, truck to disappear. So again, warming up the tips of your fingers before you dip them into the little tub of sandalwood mustache wax. Okay, more vehicles, this is ridiculous. Okay, so start to rub your finger into that until it starts to become a little more pliable because it's incredibly tough and firm to start with. You get a little bit like that into your finger and I've rubbed that in. I'm going to kind of just start to twist it in there, depending on what kind of look you're going for here. Just kind of start with the center of the mustache and kind of work it in. Again, this can get quite comical. I'm not sure you're going for something like a Poirot or some sort of 16th century gentleman look. You can get away with it all and it's kind of in the twisting. See, I mean, you can start to see that it's doesn't take a great deal of the stuff to um, to make it more pliable. Oh, it's raining outside. How typical of a of a Manchester morning in summer. That is really quite woody. Really quite woody. So get a bit more. So again, try to warm up the surface of the wax to make it more pliable and get another little little bit on the fingers, do the same and start again at the ends because I'm going to go for a bit of a, um, a 16th century gentleman appearance today I mean, just for a laugh really, just to show you the, um, the pliability of this stuff it's like plasticine or something And um, the idea is to get it off the top lip because you know what it's like taking a sip of coffee or a sip of a pint of Guinness or something like that. It just looks absolutely ridiculous. Go away here. Make sure we get all the actual moustache and we don't want to mess too much with what's underneath because it starts to look a bit ridiculous. Again, I'll get the comb on it in a moment. So we have a fair bit in there now, so what we want to do is concentrate on the twist. Twisty, 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 like so. Mm. I mean, you can pull all manner of ridiculous faces whilst you're doing this, but you can see there that we have the beginnings of a ridiculous moustache. And um, I have to say, if you want to um, curl it round like so, it takes a hell of a lot of doing. And I'm probably not going to do that today because I have a few appointments to attend to and I don't want to turn up looking like a complete lunatic. Well, maybe I do. I usually do. So, try and get that guy there. Again, it's, as I said before, it's still a bit of a, a work in progress, this beard, so... You can see that the, the moustache wax does actually work. It um, takes the moustache away from your top lip. Believe it or not, I do have lips under there, and uh, take some of it away from your face as well. Try and blend some of that together there, like so. Wow. That 
I don't know how well the GoPro here is going to pick this up, but uh, it should be interesting anyway. So, we have a beard and a moustache. So what we do now, I mean, for example, you can run the comb through the entirety of the moustache, but uh, um, it depends how... It depends what the look is that you're going for, really. So kind of just get under there and separate the tash from the from the beard. Let's finish off with that guy. Um, so essentially you end up with something like that, something akin to that. Um, again, you can mold that a little bit more, like so, to um, curl it up a little bit more. Symmetry's not perfect, I have to admit, but, um, you know, it's the idea. You kind of see a little bit more like that perhaps. Um, probably don't get the moustache wax in your beard. It can be an absolute nightmare to deal with, I have to tell you. But the smells, I have to tell you that the smells are fantastic. We have uh, the sandalwood from the moustache wax. We have the lavender and the woody smell of the beard oil. Um, and it's really quite pleasant, actually. I also finished that off with a bit of hair wax and various other things. Um, my head, at least, should smell pretty good. We'll see, we'll see. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's a very, very brief introduction to my routine with regards to mustache wax, which I'm pretty new to, to be honest. I'm not exactly professional. And, whoops, um, beard oil. So, um, I hope that was relatively informative. Um, yeah, it looks okay. Looks okay. Beard needs to get a little more bulbous yet, I think. It's a bit short. A bit short for my liking. So, until next time, ladies and gents, I um, I have a few uh, Last Man on Earth videos um, on the agenda that um, I keep putting off because I'm very busy. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? I have not a clue. There are a number of projects lined up, so. I will get to them in due course, and again, thanks for joining me as always, and until next time, goodbye.